Hi everybody, it's Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. How are you guys? I am trying to situate the camera and get everything up and running and looking right so that I know that you guys can see good. YouTube is always an experience um, trying to set up the camera because it looks one way before you go live and then it looks a completely different way once you've gone live. So I think now we're in a good view, maybe a tiny bit more down like that. I think that's good right there. What do you guys think? <laughs> Sorry for moving the camera so much. I just try to get it just right for you. So yeah, this is our catalog and I am doing a pre-order big haul unboxing for you today so that you can see some of the stuff. And I appreciate everybody who is here right now. I <laughs> know, Sherry, I missed it too. Hey, John. Hey, Lou. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me, guys. I appreciate that if you do that. Sometimes I forget too, so I appreciate it if you would do it before we forget, right? We forget things and we don't want to forget that. Okay. So let me see. What Thursday? The paper pumpkins have shipped off. So that's kind of exciting. I love um, that um, we're going to have a new paper pumpkin. And so this is the one that starts today. So it's going to be a masculine paper pumpkin set, which I'm kind of excited about a little bit. Um, I like You're the Best There Is. Um, this background looks kind of like a wood grained card base, maybe. Um, the color looks like Azure Afternoon. And I really love this color here, which I believe is our new basic beige. Um, and it has like some trees. So I'm kind of excited. That is the promo um, piece that they've given us. I know that it makes nine cards, three each, three designs with of course nine coordinating envelopes. Um, it's gonna have wood grain textures and masculine earthy tones. I know the coordinating colors are wild wheat, pool party misty moonlight which is the stamp and spot i thought it was azure because it looks kind of bright there but i guess it's misty moonlight um early espresso crumb cake and basic beige so i'm kind of excited about these colors like browns and blues and even a little pool party and wild wheat i think it's going to be awesome um but yeah and i think that this whole bundle is going to coordinate with the country woods dsp which I will show you today um, in this big haul video. Hey Rose, thanks for joining us. I appreciate having you here. All right. I think that's all the announcements I wanna make other than the fact that next Saturday I have my card fiesta at El Azteca in Virginia Beach. And if you want to come, I just need to know that you're coming. I have you down, Rose. Um, Sherry is actually coming from Tennessee to go to that. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see her and mom. Mom, how are you today? Um, and then I'm sure that Lou will be there. Um, so it's going to be a fun time. All right. So we get to order out of this new catalog on May the 1st. So I know that that's probably something that you're looking forward to because it's always fun to be able to look at everything. And when we do an annual catalog pre-order, um, we can't order everything. So we have to, we have a limited amount of products that they offer us and then we have to pick from those. So all right, let me move the catalog and I'm going to show you a couple things. And I also um, received recently the new kit, the one with the dogs. So I'm going to show you that one if you want to see it. I'm going to bring that up real quick. Hang on, let me bring the flyer so that you guys can see which one I'm talking about. This one. 
so we'll check this one out too, okay? Let's start with that because it's not part of the pre-order and we'll give people some time to get here because normally I talk a lot and hopefully you're not hearing a whole bunch of noise in the background. Um, the gas company decided to come and do work on our property today, of course, right at the time that I am live. So yay. <laughs> All right, let's get our scissor and get into this. I tried to do it without the scissor, but it just doesn't work as well, does it? All right. So by my side is the kit. It has old olive spot. Oh my gosh, look how cute. So you have paw prints and a little bone, a little fish for the cat, right? Best friends forever. You'll always be by my side. You make my heart happy and here's to a true friend. So these sentiments work for anything, right? It doesn't have to be a pet card. Um, so those are great that you have that cool, those cool sentiments that you can use on any kind of card. All right, let's see. I'm gonna put the box to the side and actually I'm gonna move the catalog. Since I'm not allowed to open it, What's the point of having it out there, right? Okay, I'm gonna open this side. It looks like I can slide out this side easier than the other one. All right, so these are the cards um, that it makes. So it looks like you have a little card here with this little black dog, one with the Basset Hound, and then this is a little cat card, and this is a little cat card. Oh my gosh, look how cute. You can stamp a paw print in the little circle of the envelope because the envelope has like a little spot for you to stamp on it. That is so cute. What are these little heart things? Are these like embellishments? They are. They're kind of like raised foil, kind of embossed hearts. And they're on like gold foil. And of course, here's the block and they have adhesive on the back of them. These are super cute. All right. Let's see what the card bases look like in here. I can't wait to make this, um, this packet. All right, so this we don't need right now because we're not putting it together, but let's look at what's in it, right? So it looks like we have this envelope and this envelope. Is that all the envelopes? Yeah, I think we have two envelopes. And then let's see how many card, do we have two different card bases? Yeah, we have two different card bases. So this one coordinates obviously with this envelope. And then let's look at the other card base. Oh, I'm trying to peel this off and it, that's how realistic looking it is. <laughs> and then this is the other card base, which of course has this envelope. Yeah, so this is cool. Let's look at the little critters. Let's put some of these guys in the middle. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Look at that little basset hound. You have this cute little cat, that little gray cat, and this little black dog. Oh my gosh, this is, this is a really cute kit. I'm so glad I got it. All right, so now we have a little sneak peek in our um, of our by my side the newest kit for the month. And it looks like this has like little punch out hearts, see? My gosh, they're so cute. And it's stitched around the edge. And then this one's also stitched around the edge. So this, this is gonna be a cute little kit. I love the stamp set. It's so cute. All right, guys, what do you think of this one? Do you like it? <laughs> It's adorable. Look how cute these cards are. And see, there's the little punch out hearts. So cute. And there's the circle that you punch out on this one. And then that's really cool because you could probably use the circle on another card. This is a cute kit. Love it. All right, I'm gonna put it away. <laughs> All right, let's see. What do we wanna start with first? Do we wanna see the new colors? I don't know where everybody is today but hopefully they will show up eventually. Um, 
let's start with the new colors. Let's talk about that first. So we have four new colors. There's our ribbon. Hopefully it doesn't roll away. Cause I, <laughs> I'm gonna turn it this way. We also have um, a new neutral. So here's the colors. All right, so this is the ribbon that goes with them. Hopefully you guys can see all this in the camera and the ribbon doesn't roll away. I'm gonna move these down and then put the ribbon at the top so it doesn't roll. All right, and then we have the blends, and I'm gonna scribble on those for you guys so you can see the actual colors. And then I also got the markers. I always get the Stampin' Write markers too because although I don't use Stampin' Write markers as much as I use my blends to color, I do use those for a lot of different techniques. So I always get um, the markers as well. So let's get a scrap paper at convention we got to do this little chart but i don't know where it is let me see if i can find it real quick i might find it i think i might know where i put it so it wouldn't get bent um i think i put it in a binder All right, so there is what we did at convention. So one of the cool things um, that they had us do was a color chart. And so these are the five colors, peach pie, petunia pop, pretty in pink, shy shamrock, and summer splash. And I'm looking at them on my iPad and they actually look pretty good. They look pretty true to color. And then I scribbled with the thin and the thick point. Um, I think it was the markers. I can't remember if it was the blends. I think they were the stamp and write markers, these markers that we use, not the blends. So these are the thick and the thin side, the brush and then the bullet tip of these. And we stamped across and then they gave us little squares of the cardstock. So these are the colors. Hey, Debbie, I'm sorry. Debbie, if you send me your phone number, your mobile number, I can text you prior to the live I do that to people who ask me to so just email it to me at kelly at inkyhandswarmhearts.com kelly with an i and um I'd be happy to text you so that if you don't get a notification um you'll know that I'm here but it's good to have you sorry that you didn't get notified it's always frustrating when that happens Okay, so these, I actually haven't done very much, Debbie. I did show the new by my side kit with the puppy and the kittens. That's all you missed. I did try to talk in case people popped in. All right, so these are the colors. So let's, let's look at the actual ribbons. Oh, and then we have the neutral, which is basic beige and the ribbon to go with it. So I don't need this because I found my chart. I couldn't remember what I did with it. I'm kind of little, still unpacking because I've literally been gone for an entire month and I feel so out of sorts, but it is what it is. Um, let's go ahead and open one of these ribbons so that you guys can see. 
what it looks like. All right. So let me bring it up to the camera. So that's what it looks like. It's stitched. Let the camera, um, there we go. I'm gonna move you over a little and let it, there we go. So it's a really pretty stitched ribbon. It's kind of like a linen look to it. And I'm gonna tie a bow and let's see how it ties. Let's see if it's taut or if it's flimsy. I love them too, Debbie. I think they're really pretty. We had the brights, now we have like the, I call them the Sherbert colors. <laughs> They're the colors of sherbet ice cream. It's like they're pastel, but they're like pastel with a little bit of brightness, right? This actually ties a really pretty ribbon. And look at that with the little puff, you have that perfect and it's holding. So it has nice texture. Um, this is my first time. I actually hadn't even opened my box until today, right before the video. But yeah, so cute, right? So let me get a clip because I don't like my, my ribbon to unwind. And I use um, mini binder clips to hold them in place. It works for now, but um, that's what I use. So I like to, I usually put it up here on the side and then just clip it to the side there. But this is a really pretty ribbon. All of these are really pretty colors. And this one does look close to it, but when, when they're side by side, but when they're not, when they have other colors, it's definitely a big difference. Like look at the pink with the green, with the shy shamrock, pretty in pink with shy shamrock. And then look at it with um, summer splash. It's definitely much paler. These are really pretty colors. Now, pretty in pink was a color back in the day. Um, I still had it, so I didn't have to order it. And it's an awesome pink. It's actually real baby pink. Like literally the pink you think of when you think of baby girl. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, it is actually, and the paper um, is a little brighter than I expected it to be. It's like, um, it's like, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's not like our other colors, so it's pretty cool. But anyway, I got the blends, whoops, and I got the, um, the in-color markers. And again, let me show you the chart so that you guys can see what it looks like stamped the paper and then this is these stamp and write markers but i think it turned out really good they did a nice job for us i think um with these sheets hey karen thanks for joining us yeah finally this is this is such a beautiful pink it was the original pink that we had when i first signed up as a demonstrator in 2002 and they kept that color for a very, very, very long time. Um, I was sad, of course, when it left, but I'm so glad it's back because we really did need a beautiful pink. And even if it's only for two years, I'm happy to have it be part of the collection for two years. All right, let's see. I'm gonna show you guys the um, in color like dots and embellishments next, but did you see the, um, the, the beige and the ribbon? And then this is the paper for the beige. It's really, really beautiful. It's lighter than Sahara sand. It doesn't have as much gray tone to it, but it is a beautiful color. And I think it's gonna be a great um, neutral for us to have. Basic beige is that one. All right, let me bring in the in-color dots for you. And then there was also some glimmer paper. So I wanna show you that. There we go. 
There's the dots. Here's the in color DSP. And here's some glimmer paper. So this paper is the 2024 to 2026 in color glimmer 12 by 12 specialty paper. If that's not a mouthful, I don't know what is. That is quite the name. All right, let's pull it out of here so we can see it in real time. All right, so talk about glimmery. That's the peach. <laughs> now you see the difference in the Shy Shamrock and the Summer Splash with this glimmer paper. Pretty cool. And on camera, this actually looks darker than it is. It's not quite that dark. Hi, Malada. That's okay. I'm glad you could make it. It's not actually this dark. It has more of a brightness to it, just like the colors do. For some reason, this is showing really dark, but it is not that dark. Let me see if I move it with this brighter color, see if it will lighten it some on the camera. It did lighten it a little bit, but it's a bright green. It looks like a shamrock green, a real Kelly green color, like a St. Patrick's Day color. All right, so that's the glimmer paper. I can't believe the name that it has though. That was like something else, wasn't it? 2024 to 2026 in color glimmer 12 by 12 specialty paper. <laughs> oh boy. All right, so that's that. Here is the six by six, 2024 to 2026 in color designer series paper. So we have pretty and pink. Peach pie. Shy shamrock. Or um, petunia pop and summer splash. They're really pretty. Let me show you the prints in this pack now that you can see the colors. I do too. So cute. Let's do it with the purple because I just, I'm like particular to this purple. I think it's such a cool purple. So this is the pattern. So we have this and the stripe and then this and the dot. So those are the patterns. for this year. Yeah, they're beautiful. So pretty cool, right? I'm pretty excited um, by these colors. I think they're pretty, they're really beautiful colors. All right, so let's put that one back in between the greens. And then these are the two dots that I got. I got the Shimmer Gems, I think is what they're called. Let me read the name because when it's the beginning, we don't even know what they're called, right? Um, 2024 In Color Shimmer Gems. So there are the shimmer gems and look at how they're so sparkly, super awesome and sparkly. I'm gonna try and bring the purple ones into the light because they weren't as sparkly, but see how pretty they are. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. All right, so that's the, the shimmer gems and then let's look at these other dots let's see what they're called i don't even remember but they're from a sweet but i don't remember which sweet 2024 in color resin dots and this is probably the smallest pack of embellishments i've seen in forever like literally so tiny but they put them so close together right and this actually, gosh, does it even look peach? That kind of looks yellowy, but it does match. 
let's compare them with their colors. A little bit off. I mean, they're not identical, but yes, they're pretty close. They definitely coordinate with the colors. So those are that. That's it for in color stuff, except for a pack of designer series paper that the sweet is like the one that has all the in colors. You know how they usually have a sweet that has the in colors. Like last year, it was cheerful daisies and it had like all the paper had all five in colors in it. So there's going to be a sweet that's going to have that as well. All right, let's see. All right. Let's do some of the, well, let me show you this. Um, this is the pack um, that you can purchase of cards and envelopes. Now you get one of each, which I don't know why they did that, but I think it's because it's a lower price point for people that are just starting out. This is gonna be for the area of the catalog that is for people that are, wanna step up from kits and have a little bit of their own creativity. So I'm gonna pull this down real quick and try and show you the coordination. They did a really beautiful job with the coordination of the envelope to the card base. Gosh, it's so tight in there. Okay, hopefully I can put it back. So here is this card base, and then this is the envelope. So see how cool that is? And then here's this one. And see how this is the opposite of this? It's really pretty. I love this pink one, of course, because I love pink. But there's the envelope, but look at the inside. Pretty cool. Here is this yellow. How cool is it that it's the opposite? It's pretty awesome. And then this green plaid, it has a very pale, and it looks like it's like um, soft sea foam. I know it's hard to see, but I'm gonna try and bring it up for you to see the pattern. There we go. It looks gray right now, but it's like a soft sea foam color. So it's like this color, just a little bit more pale. And then here's the inside. Pretty cool pack of envelopes and cards. And then there's another one that's a little bit more masculine. It has um, grays and blues. And um, I didn't buy that one. I will eventually, but you know, you can't buy everything. You can't buy everything, right? Because forget it, you'll go broke. Let me see, I think I'm gonna put these this way so that they match the cards. This is really cool. I really love um, the coordination that they did of these cards and envelopes. So yeah, so then there's these ephemera packs, which by the way, I didn't buy any. Um, it may be something that I do for a class in the future, so stay tuned, where you get a pack of like, let's say this pack here, and then we do five cards and you get the ephemera packs. So I don't have a complete picture of what they're doing there. Um, and then I also forgot to show you these gray pearls when I was showing the other embellishments. This is the only other embellishment that I got. And aren't they pretty? So you have like gray and silver and they're supposed to be um, like, basic gray and smoky slate so the darker ones are the basic gray and the lighter ones are smoky slate but I just think they're gorgeous I got two packs of these because I really like them all right 
time to move on to stamp sets and um, things like that. So let's start with this first one. It is called the Leaf Collection. And it is beautiful. Um, think about these leaves in more than just green. And then you can fussy cut them out and like have them sticking out from different parts of the card. I just love the stamp set. Oh my gosh. I couldn't wait to get it. I love background stamps, but I think this is going to be pretty amazing to pair with lots of florals. And if you just need a, a big green leaf, then you can put a floral right, right with it. How beautiful would that be? Like with a floral right there attached onto this big greenery. So I'm super excited about this background. And um, I hope that you are too. All right, the next thing I'm gonna show you is this, um, it's a mega suite. I wanna make sure I'm showing you everything, but I can't show you the inside of the catalog. So give me a second to find it so that I make sure that you're seeing everything that goes with it. I'm not forgetting anything. Okay, the glimmer paper that I showed you goes with this suite. So that, and the dots that I showed you go with this suite. So this paper and these dots. All right, so let's talk about the suite. So this is a mega suite, which means it has two um, bundles. So you're, we're gonna have two sets of dies and two stamp sets. And then these are the dots for this suite. So I loved the sentiments in this stamp set. Hope, love, faith. But it says, hope is believing in a brighter tomorrow. Love never gives up. Faith is being sure of what we cannot see. I really think those are beautiful. They have peace makes the world a better place. Then there's best of luck. You're a true blessing. Then they have little one and friend. You've got this and feel better soon. And then you can pair them with some of these here. So it says celebrate. Hello. You are loved. Friend is in script as well with sympathy. Have a blessed day. May all your wishes come true. My heart goes out to you, just for you, to you and yours, and happy birthday. I think this is going to be a great um, sentiment set. And let me show you the dies that goes with it. So this bundle, Unbounded Love Bundle, you get that word set. And then these are the dies. their frames and they fit the different sentiments. So faith fits in um, one of them. Peace fits in one of them. Best of luck. Um, the one that says, may all your wishes come true. You are loved. Happy birthday and to you and yours. But I'm sure many of them will fit. But look at this one. It's like a leafy frame. So it has like a leaf on the end and then the frame. And then what I love about that one is not only does it have that, but there's coordinating leaves that you can use on your card or on the inside to go with it. This is a really awesome bundle. I love the scalloped oval. You have two circles. One has the line with the smaller, let me show you, hang on. I'm trying to explain and it's easier if I just put it on top. So they nest in each other. So one's smaller than the other. You have this cute little scalloped, small like rectangle, an inner 
inner scalloped oval, which I really think is cool. I think it fits inside of this oval. It does. And just some really, really cool frames. This one also has the flat florals and then it has two floral sprigs as well to coordinate with the, this other floral one. This is really beautiful. Hey, Monica. All right, so that's that. Unbounded Love. Flowers of Beauty is another floral set. You can see that leaf mimics the leaf in the frames, right? And then this is the overlay because it's a two-step stamp set. So this stamps over the top of this. This is the background color for these small flowers. This is the background for this flower, the background for this flower. And then this overlays with this and this and this overlay. So it's a two-step stamp set and it is clear. So you're gonna be able to see to overlay stamp all of the images. I'm really excited about it. This is at about 85%. So you can see how much bigger they are than the actual. So here is the solid one. I'm gonna try and hold it up here so you guys can see. Let me put some paper behind. Let me see if I have any paper on my desk. I'll grab a card. All right, so there is, there we go. All right. So see how much bigger it is than what it shows on the, on the cover. It's pretty cool. This is a really beautiful set. Hey Clem, that's okay. You just missed a little bit. You missed all the in color stuff. I did that first. This is the, I'm onto the stamp sets now. All right, and let me show you the dies for this stamp set. I'm quite excited about this bundle and um, this double bundle. So Flowers of Beauty dies. You see you have these two long pieces so that you can get one to eight of the small flower and eight of the large flower. You can cut those out, which is cool. Those are kind of standalone dies. Then you have the cutouts for the, this piece here, once it's been stamped and overlaid. And this piece, once it's been stamped and overlaid, gets cut out with that. Here's this flower right here, this flower right here. And then this, once it's been double stamped, will be cut out with this. And as you can see, there's two other stamp sets that are standalone dies. I think they're gonna be really fun to use. And you can take these and add these flowers onto these stems. So I think it's gonna be really good. Yeah, this is a really beautiful um, double bundle. You know, this Mega Bundle Suite is really pretty. Guys, don't forget to click the thumbs up if you don't mind. I would appreciate it. It helps it. And if you don't mind sharing my video, that also helps. It costs nothing to share my video. So I appreciate everybody who does that for me. All right. So let's show the paper that goes with this. These beautiful um, dies and stamp sets and all that good stuff. We probably lost John because he's not interested in these stamp sets. <laughs> Are you still here, John? Or did you uh, leave for a minute? I like to mess with him when, when I'm watching, when he's watching. Okay, so obviously this is a gorgeous um, paper, right? Beautiful. Look at those beautiful roses. This is the leaf that those frames are going to cut out. Um, really, really pretty. And then this is the back side. What gorgeous paper. Wow. 
I'm so impressed with this paper. It's so beautiful. Okay, and then this is our next one. <laughs> Debbie, you're funny. There is the back of this paper. Look at that. This is gorgeous. I'm so happy I got this. Woohoo! All right, so then our next one has these little clusters of flowers. And there is the pink, similar to this green, only it's in the pink. I love that. Let's look at the next one. This is a surprise for me, just like it is for you. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. And then here's the back. It kind of has like some little pressed, it almost looks like, Mm, like a little bit of a crosshatch or a linen like overlay that's spotty. This is really pretty. And then here's our other paper. Love that in the rose. Yes, I will read the colors for you, Debbie, for sure. And then look at that. This one has the peach um, linen splats on the back with the pink. And then one more paper. So this is, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Wow. I love this last paper. And then it has kind of like dots or spots throughout this peach paper. This is beautiful. All right, let me read the colors on the back. Berry Burst, Calypso Coral, Peach Pie, Petunia Pop, Pretty and Pretty Peacock, Shy Shamrock, and Summer Splash. So it has Peach Pie, Petunia Pop, Pretty and Pink, Shy Shamrock, and Summer Splash, which are the in colors. And then the three colors that they added to them were Berry Burst, Pretty Peacock, and Calypso Coral. So Pretty Peacock is this darker, let me pull this down from the plastic, this darker green, this is the Berry Burst, the darker purple, and then this is the Calypso Coral, the orangey rust in the background. Yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. I'm so glad I got this whole suite. So this suite is called Unbound Beauty Suite Collection, and it comes with the Unbound Love Bundle, the Flowers of Beauty Bundle. The paper is called Unbounded Beauty. And the dots are 2024 to 2026 in color resin dots. And then of course the mouthful of the glimmer paper, which is 2024 to 2026 in color glimmer specialty paper, 12 by 12. <laughs> I hope that you like this one. This one's awesome. I'm so excited about it and I'm happy to share it with you. Okay, let's move on to another bundle. All right, let's see. We'll go with this one next. This one's kind of exciting. All right, this is called Layers of Beauty. All right, I'm going to find it so that I can share it accurately with you. All right, this is not a suite. It's called Layers of Beauty Bundle, and it's a three-part bundle. So you get this stamp set, which is this beautiful spray of roses. It looks like some daisies are included or daisy-like flower, a little small leaf, which I love that. Happy anniversary, grateful for you. God bless, I love the God bless. And you make my heart smile. There's also this little tiny sprig right here and a little small daisy. So we have three real small pieces and then this one. 
And then you have your um, Layers of Beauty stamp set, okay? So this is like a three-part set. So we have our Layers of Beauty dies. So there's a little baby tag. You have some standalone greenery. And then all of those pieces on the front, this tiny daisy, tiny leaf, the little sprig over here on the side. This is for this little cluster. And then the cool thing about this stamp set, I'm gonna just pull it out and I'm gonna have to put something behind it for you to see it. It's hard to see the clear, right? And this is not really the best color, maybe black. Let me see if I can grab a piece of black cardstock. No, that's worse. <laughs> I don't know what color to show it to you on. Anyway, trust me, it is this floral image. Now, it's shown at 85% um, as well. But this large frame, I'm going to try and get it off of here. You guys know how it is when you have new dies. They are, like, stuffed like glue. All right. So this cuts out the entire cluster. Pretend it's that size because it's not the actual size, but it cuts the whole cluster out. But as you can see here, there's a die to cut out this rose at the top. So if you want just the rose, you can die cut just that rose out of the stamp set, which I think is pretty awesome that they did that for us, right? Now let's see if I can get this back. I don't know, it's gonna be uh, interesting to get it to fit. Let's see, maybe like that. And okay, I did it. <laughs> but not only can you stamp or watercolor this and then die cut the cluster out or just the in interesting, you know, just the one rose, but there are masks that are decorative masks, and then there's five of them. They're rather large, and they have notches in them, and they're numbered. Let me see, you might not be able to see them, the numbers on the camera, but I'm gonna try. So up at the top here, there's a little number. I don't know if you guys can see it with my lighting right there that's the number one yeah you can see it in my light I think so there's number one and then there's number two and number three and so on they're all numbered okay and what you do is you start with number one and you use your brushes and you attach your paper and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this but you're going to always line up your notch. So we're gonna blend that color first and then you're gonna mark your notch on your paper and then you're gonna bring your other one and line up your notch. And then you'll do your next. And then when you've done all five of them, they will have colored in the entire image all the leaves separate from the flowers and the like and it's actually quite beautiful um they showed us this bundle at convention and it was definitely a wow so trust me you're gonna love this bundle um you're gonna want to give it a try because it's pretty awesome and i will be showing it um we've had other bundles like this in the past, but I haven't purchased them, but I really saw so much potential with this one because you have the separate pieces. Um, you literally can make a card with the daisies um, 
And there's kind of room in between this cluster as well to cut like this fussy cut out that cluster with the daisies in it separate. It's just a really beautiful, beautiful set. And I think with the masks and you could watercolor, you could color with markers, you could color with blends. Um, the possibilities are really going to be a lot for this set. And I cannot wait um, to show you how to use it. Uh, and again, I really like the sentiments that came with it. We need a good happy anniversary, right? I love the God bless. You make my heart smile and the grateful for you. So this is called Layers of Beauty Bundle. All right, we're gonna talk about our next suite. I gotta find it so I can help you guys with it. All right, where is it? Let's see. Adventurous Sky is the name of the bundle. Let's see what the name of the suite is. They always change the name a little bit. Take to the Sky Suite. You get this paper and this Adventurous Skies and these little embellishments. They're called Industrial Trinkets. I'm going to open those first because they're really fun. You get 40 pieces. And I'm going to bring them up and I'm going to have one actually I'm going to put them on the lid so that you guys can see and I don't have to hold the whole thing okay because they're heavy they're actually metal um so you can use both sides so one's kind of like a decorative brad and then the other one has these really cool lines I'm sorry I'm out of camera okay I'm trying to get in okay there we go got it sorry guys <laughs> oh, now I'm out of camera again. Okay, I'm good now. So you can see one is like a decorative brad, and then the other side has these really cool little lines on there. They're super cool. And I hope that um, you will like them. I think they're great and they're loose. Um, I, I really love them. And I like that they're actually metal. So they're, they're actually heavy. They got some weight to them. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the Adventurous Sky. Um, this stamp set is really cool. I love the clouds. Um, they're so realistic, right? And the airplane is really cool. The fonts are amazing, but the dies are super awesome. As always, they always outdo us, right, with the dies. All right, so here are the dies. Not only do you have the, um, the planes that cut out, the three of them. This one, is it at 100%? Well, 95, so it's close enough. So there's that one. Here's that one. And here's that one. So not only do you have that, I have to flip it the other way, I think, yeah. It's always a challenge to put back dies, isn't it? After you pull them off of this sheet, which is why I use um, the magnet sheets because I don't have time to deal with this. Okay, and then of course the clouds also die cut out. So there's that one. And the small one right there and then here's the medium puffy one but you have this plane that you can put together here's the body and then this fits over the top 
like this. So you could do it in another color. And then you have the um, propeller, which is in two parts. I'm trying to get it off of here. <laughs> so you can have the propeller, okay, on the plane. And then the really cool thing is there's this die here that you can attach onto the back. And then you can fly your little banner off the back of the plane. It's super awesome, guys. Like, I can't explain to you how cool it is. I don't even know how these go. But let's see if I can get it to kind of sort of fit back. Okay, that's pretty good. Not bad for not paying attention. But oh my gosh, it's the coolest bundle. And no, I don't have anybody who's in aeronautics, but let me tell you what I, how I feel about these masculine sets that they come out with. If you don't have a set with airplanes, you need one. You never know when you're gonna need an airplane set, and then we're not gonna have one. And so therefore, that's okay, Joyce. So, I'm glad you made it. You can always watch the replay. And don't forget, guys, to click the thumbs up if you can. I would appreciate that. Hey, Roxanne. This is such an awesome bundle. From the fact that you can die cut your own plane and paper piece it together um, to the fact that you can die cut out all of the stamped images. It's such a gorgeous um, bundle. And I really feel like our masculine sets we just don't get um the them and they retire pretty quickly and so i think it's something that you need to have on hand because you just never know when you're gonna need it and it's different and i love this stamp right here oh my gosh i love that um so yeah pretty cool right let's talk about the paper the paper is called Take to the Sky. And I almost got it, but I didn't quite get it all the way. There we go. Well, as you can see on the first page, I'm not going to pull it back first. You have these tags, and then you have four cards, two over here, and then this one. Kind of like our um, Cheerful Daisy paper has those different scenes on the front. I think it fits this style stamp set or suite better than the Daisy one fit. I didn't really care for it that much in the Daisy, but I would definitely use both pages um, in this paper. I think it's super beautiful. And even if you don't have somebody in aeronautics, if you want to do a travel book, if you want to do a book on different places that you've been, airplanes are perfect um, for a travel. Like you could do a travel scrapbook. You could make luggage tags. I mean, there's so many things you could do with this set. Okay, enough talk. Let's start from the back. Look at how cool that paper is. I'm loving that. And then that's the front. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's do the next one. Gray plaid. Look at those clouds. Amazing. Our next one is this really cool, different colors of gray. I don't even know what that is, but it is, a, it's awesome, is what it is. And let's look at the front. Oh my gosh, I love this paper so much. John, what do you think of this paper from a guy's point of view? Oh my gosh, I love this. This is gorgeous. It has kind of some gray in it, even though it's blue. It's pretty. It's kind of two-toned. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's like all the flying routes over the maps. That is so cool. In love with that. 
in love with that. And then um, this, I really love this with the gray tones mixed in with that blue. Okay, sorry, let me get off that paper. <laughs> this one is so pretty. And then, oh my gosh, love this. And then one more, I think. So this one is the flying patterns, but look, it has all the old planes on there. This is so cool. And then this is the other side. Now I don't even know which one I wanna use. Now I might have to buy a second pack of this paper because, oh my gosh, I can't not use this back side either. They're gorgeous. This is like the type of paper that you don't know what side to use, right? It's so pretty. I guess John um, went to sleep because he didn't give me his opinion. So he's busted, busted, busted. <laughs> John, you're busted. I don't know. He's off to do something. Who knows? Um, anyway, um, this bundle, this whole suite, it's not an expensive suite. It's a decent price point. I believe it's $74. And you get the paper, the bundle, and the trinkets. Yeah, I have nobody that flies, but I had to get this. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And like I said, you just never know when you're going to need something like this. All right, let's get on to the next bundle. All right, Seaside Wishes. It's a hybrid embossing folder bundle. And since you guys know I live at the beach, yeah, basically I'm in love with this um, stamp set. So it has these beautiful sand dollars and I think they're called not starfish anymore. They're called like star something, but I don't remember the name of them now. I don't think starfish is accurate, but I'm going to call them starfish for right now because I cannot think of um, the name that they changed that to. And you absolutely made my day. Your friendship is the best gift. Love you. Sometimes the simplest things mean the most. And then these are like the sea glass that you find. Right? So pretty. But the coolest part is that this embosses these as well as cuts out. All right. It always hurts my heart to like break apart this one that has the sticker on the seam. I don't know why. <laughs> it just does. Okay, so you have the embossing folder. Let's open that. See how beautiful it is and it's super deep. to the side let's get the dies out that's right sand stars i knew there was a name of them i knew that it wasn't a, a, a starfish anymore i don't know why they changed the name but i did hear that it was changed thank you debbie and here you live in kansas landlocked and you know the name and here I am at the beach and I don't even know the name. That's awesome, Rose. I just saw what you typed about the airplane set. Okay, so let me explain how these hybrids work. Oh my God, look at this standalone die. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. All right, so let's pull this out. So you would lock it in place. 
I gotta find the way it goes first. There we go. So it locks in place on your piece. Should we die cut it? I think we should. I'm gonna do it. Let me get um, a piece of very vanilla cardstock. So you lock it in place at the top on the side that has the Stampin' Up! logo. Hey, Debbie, thanks for joining us. And we're going to close it like that. Let me get the die cut machine. I'm pretty sure we need that. All right, here we go. Let's open this guy. Let's move some of this stuff out of the way. Okay. So we need this, number one, and number four, which is the gray one. So you lock the dies in place. Let me do it again. So we wanna make sure they're nice and locked in. Then you're gonna put your paper. I like to put it over the piece and then close my embossing folder. And then I put it with the hinge. The open side is here, okay? And then I will run it through. And then I have to make you wait for the magic because I want to show it properly. So I'm going to move this die cut machine back out of the way. Because it's so big. Which I'm not complaining about. I do love that it's so big. But not when it's in my way. Okay. Are you guys ready for the big reveal? Oh, you did. All right, so I'm gonna open it so you can see. And let's pull this off. And then you have like some pebbled area on here. So if you did not cut, you could have them and you have three sizes. Aren't they beautiful? And then if you shaded them with a little crumb cake, oh my gosh, or maybe even that basic beige this is going to be so fun. They do look so real. Literally so real. I'm loving them. So glad I got this bundle. So anyway, that's how a hybrid embossing folder works. You um, put, you die cut and emboss at the same time pretty awesome. And then of course you have some seagrass and these beautiful, oh my gosh, I don't even know what these are called, but I love finding them on the beach. Like a pumice stone or whatever. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Everything is so pretty. So here's that. I don't know. Here it is. I was like, I don't know where to put my embossing folder. Here we go. I have to find all the parts and pieces again to put everything back to the way it came. But isn't this awesome? So you can emboss by itself without die cutting. And if you do that, you'll have the beautiful sand dollars with this gorgeous like bumpiness. But 
but if you die cut them, then they pop out. They're so real looking. I cannot tell you how real they look in person. If they look real online, they look even better in person. They have all these little divots and stuff that are like, you, the camera is not catching. But it in real, it's gorgeous. All right, so let's get this. I'm gonna put it together so I don't lose it. I know that it comes together when I go to put all my stuff away in its rightful place as soon as May 1st comes. I will um, do that. So, and you get the sea glass in the stamp set. So this is a must have little bundle, don't you think? Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. It's even prettier than I thought. Okay, I have, let's see. This bundle called Attention Shoppers. Very excited about this one. It is so cute. And literally, I know it doesn't look like much, but I promise you, it is amazing. I got to find the page so I can tell you all about it. All right. This bundle is only $39.50, so it's a super low price point bundle. Usually only punch bundles are that inexpensive, so I love that we have a die bundle that is inexpensive like that. Okay, so as you can see, we have bottle of champagne or wine or whatever you want it to be a cake little bouquet of flowers shopping bags with tissue paper plants and then I love the sentiments shopping is always a good idea like if that doesn't exemplify everything that I am I don't know what does <laughs> treat yourself happy birthday thanks just for you so this is a really great um birthday a stamp set you could do happy birthday and then treat yourself and then have the cart full with the cake and the flowers and the champagne bottle and a present um, so let me show you the dies so the shopping cart is a two-part die and it's a standalone I don't believe it cuts out the stamped image it just is a standalone so you would die cut the basket and then you could do the little wheels underneath and i know my people in the uk and in australia they call this a trolley i think that's so cute <laughs> but to me it's a shopping cart or a, john calls it a buggy what do you guys call a shopping cart john has always called it a buggy he's from tennessee i'm from new jersey uh, i was born in new york city and um so i'm from up north and we call it a shopping cart what do you guys call it a basket i think there's like lots of names and then like the people in the uk calling it a trolley i think that's such a cute name a shopping trolley <laughs> But anyway, this set has a lot of potential and I hope that you will give it a, tr a chance because I'm gonna be using it and making the cutest cards with it. I cannot wait to um, start designing with it. It definitely has so much more potential than you can see just by looking at this. Okay, let's go on to the next. It's another mega bundle. The pearls go with this one. I gotta find everything. Let me find the embossing folder that should be here somewhere that goes with this set. I don't know what I've done with it. It's in here. I thought it was in this box, but I might 
know. I gotta look. I will not panic. I will find it with calmness. <laughs> panic! I'm only kidding. <laughs> Let me get to the page so I can tell you everything that comes and how much it is. Oh my goodness, I'm so crazy sometimes. I don't know how you guys deal with me, but it feels good to laugh. I haven't laughed in a long time. I'm, I've been so sad. And so it felt, feels good to laugh. <laughs> okay. So this is a mega bundle. Oh, there's also ribbon that goes with this. I gotta find the ribbon. Here we go. Ta -da! <laughs> oh no, sorry, Debbie. Okay, so this is called the Country Woods Suite Collection, and it's a mega suite, which means it has two bundles, right? It also has two packs of designer series paper, ribbon and embellishments so this one's a little bit pricey i'm not gonna lie 150 to 25 but you get a lot um a lot for um a lot of bang for your buck okay so let's start with the country birdhouse if you guys are interested in coming to the stamp camp <laughs> Thanks, Sherry. <laughs> um, you're going to have to purchase this bundle, Country Birdhouse, these pearls, this ribbon, the eyelet 3D embossing folder, and this paper, which is called Country Woods Paper. So in order to come, I'm going to cover up the other for right now so that you don't see it. In order to come to the stamp camp um, on a host code for me, you're going to order Country Birdhouse Stamp Set and Dies, the Basic Gray and Smoky Slate Pearls, the Eyelet 3D Embossing Folder, and the Petal Pink and White diagonal trim combo pack and that's why they call it diagonal trim because it has some texture to it that's diagonal i'll open the ribbon in a minute so this is what you need to buy for the stamp camp okay the birdhouse bundle the eyelet embossing folder the pearls the ribbon and then this wood grained dsp if you're a demo and you have already purchased this bundle, you can buy anything for the same price point. Um, and it will be for the May. Um, it'll be in May when I start um, taking or the orders for it because obviously May 1st is when we can order and everybody can order out of the annual catalog. So that's what we're using for the stamp camp. Yeah, this designer series paper is literally stunning. And the one that is here is the denim one, Lou. I'll show you in a minute. So let's start Let's start with this stuff since I have already shown it kind of, sort of. We already saw the pearls, but let me open um, one of these ribbon. I wish they would give us like, these things had like a resealable, but they never do, do they? They're taped on there. Okay. So here is the diagonal. It's really pretty ribbon. I'm gonna tie a bow for you and let's see what it looks like. It kind of has the same feel, similar to the in color ribbon, so I'm sure it's gonna tie a pretty bow. It has a sheen to it which I like, um, a little bit of brightness, right? A little bit of sparkle to the ribbon, it's not flat. So it has a slight sheen. 
And yeah, ties a really pretty bow. Look at that. Beautiful. And you can puff it up and it holds itself. Really, really pretty. Oh, I thought it was Lou that said denim. It was you, Sherry. Sorry. Um, it is denim-like. I'm going to show you in a minute. Actually, I'm not going to put a clip on this for right now. I'm just going to put them back. But basically, the pretty, um, the petal pink, the peach ribbon petal pink is the same exact texture. So that's that one. I already showed you the pearls. Let's look at the eyelet embossing folder. And these are always hard to see, but I'm going to put a color behind it. Super pretty. I love that. I'm excited about this folder. And the folder is just called Eyelet. And it's a 3D one, so you're gonna use it with the gray plate, number four and number one. Okay, let's go over the Country Bird House first. So the Country Bird House stamp set is exactly what you see here. The Bird House, the bird, you have the florals, you have a little cluster, an individual, um, flower that's this type and a little daisy and then this flower on a stem you get a splatter you get this really cool embellishment here which is really cool I would love to put that underneath a sentiment that's pretty cool you get this little wood grain stamp and then let me read you the sentiments since they're backwards on here hoping you have the best day ever happy birthday and hello friend. So all of those little parts and pieces, the bird is super cute. This is gonna be a really fun bundle. Let's look at the dies. And the images on here are 95%, so I can show you the dies on top of the box, which is always helpful, right? Yes, Roxanne, so many things with this. This is gonna be awesome. All right, so let's look at the dies. So the dies cut out the entire birdhouse with the ledge. Okay. And then you have a ledge piece. So if you want it to be a different color, you have another piece to cut that out, which I think is pretty awesome. And then um, on top of it cutting out the entire um, birdhouse, the ledge is separate. You have different roof pieces. So you have this piece, you have the eyelet piece. So if you wanna just do a die cut birdhouse, you can even put another color on the roof. So this little thin die, or you can put it in between like this and put your whole birdhouse together. Three different colors. You can add this on top of, you know, the main piece. You can add it on top for a pop of color on the roof. There's a lot of possibilities. So this is what the birdhouse is. Let me put these back and then I will go into the next parts, okay? So we have the roof possibilities, which are pretty cool, I think. Let me see, did I bring it far enough up? I did not. Let me bring these a little higher. All right, now the, the eyelet should fit there, the little scallop. Okay, this right here is the post for the birdhouse if you want to have it on a post which is why this wood grain is really cool because you could stamp a wood grain on that pole on the pole pretty cool right i'm kind of loving it 
Um, you have the hole for, you know, to, to do your hole. And you even have a circle for the little hole down here where you would put the little wood piece that would come out of the bottom. Um, you have standalone florals and leaves. You have a bow. I love a paper bow. I cannot tell you how much I love a paper bow. I absolutely, positively love me a paper bow. And I'm quite excited about it, actually. Quite, quite excited. All right, so that's that die set. This is gonna be a really good, whoops, I almost forgot to put that, that die back in here. Let me put it this way, I think, yeah. So that's the birdhouse. Let's move on to the other country flowers, okay? All right, so let's open the dies. This set does not look amazing, but I have to tell you, I was not impressed with this set until I saw it stamped. This happened to be one of our after hour stamp sets that we could do um, if we chose to do after hours. And it is a stunning stamp set. I cannot tell you how stunning. I mean, it is amazing. Okay. So let's, let me show you. Here is the greenery and the bucket. So there's the greenery and there's the bucket. There's the sentiment with heartfelt sympathy. This is an amazing set, guys. All right, let me show you another one. All right, so this one has the floral image, which is right here as a background. There's the greenery, this is watercolored. There's the word sending love. And then this happens to be the teapot. I'm gonna lift it up for you guys to see the teapot but this goes over the top. I almost hate that it's over the top now. I almost wish that it was over here. I don't know why they did it this way. I'm gonna switch it. I'm gonna, I don't think it's, oh no, I can't. It tore it a little bit. So this is how it's gonna see. But the cool thing is, see if you put something here, it just looks like a regular pot on the bottom, but you can have a teapot. And then the last project uses this sprig here and it's a really beautiful stamp set i was completely shocked that I, I was not expecting it to be as pretty as it is and of course this is shy shamrock and that is petunia pop all right so this is a really awesome stamp set let's look at the dies So you do have the ones that cut out these pieces here. So you have the stool, you have the teapot, you have this little jug. I guess this one might be a standalone because I don't know if it, if it cuts that out. Maybe it does. Oh yeah, it does because this little piece here cuts out that little small piece right here. So it does line it up. So you just have to make sure you have that on the inside. And remember, this is only at 90%, so it's gonna look smaller, but that one cuts that out. And then this one is, I don't know, a basket of some sort. Oh no, I know what this is. This is to take this die and to add this over the top. If you're gonna just use these beautiful papers to die cut it out. That's what that's for. 
and then it has a lid see the lid so if you wanted to put a lid on this little jug you can there's going to be a lot of possibilities with the stamp set i didn't see it until now look at all these standalone flowers and they gave us multiples so many of them standalone leaves so many of them this set is going to be awesome but I love the images so much more now that I have seen it stamped. And this little flower market, you can stamp that right here on this jug. How cool would that be? And then like this little piece, you can stamp it here so that it looks like pottery. Absolutely. This is going to be so awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And think about this stool with this paper. Because you can cut this stool out in the different wood colors. I'm already getting so excited right now. Wanting to get my hands on this and start stamping. So don't discount this set because it is gorgeous. Okay. So let's see. So I'm going to go down pretty low because... I want us to be able to see all the grain in the wood. I'm going to pull it out. What's the chances that I get it back? Not very good, but I don't care. All right. Let's look at all of it together because I hate to have any plastic over the top because it's so beautiful. So look at that gorgeous wood grain. I'm going to bring it up so that you can see the grain in the wood so that it doesn't look denim. It actually has the wood grain in it. Bye, Rose. See how it actually is wood looking and it is super, super realistic, guys. Okay, the other side of this one if this is not beach wood, I don't know what is. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this so much. And again, it does look real close up. It has all the grain in the wood. All right, let's go on to the next one. Oh my gosh, this is so rich and beautiful. This is stunning. All right, let's look at the other side. Wow. I'm so impressed with this paper. Like literally I was impressed with it before I opened it. But now that I can see it out of the plastic, it's gorgeous. I love me some wood grain. Wow, this one's so cool. Sherry, ask mom to tell me what her favorite um, so far is. I only have one more thing to show you guys after this um, suite. So, so far, what's her favorite? I'm curious. I'm in love with this one. I love Pool Party and I love this color so much. Look at the scratches and the scuffs in this paper. I'm going to bring it up to the camera so you can see it. It's so real. Yes, this paper is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Wow. I love, this is like kind of like a, a peach, but like a rich peach that's been like, the paint has worn off. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> I'm so impressed with this paper. I'm like so impressed. 
Look at this. Wow, guys, this is so beautiful. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be going through this DSP, and this DSP is going to sell out, guys. You need to get it, like, on May 1st, because I feel it already that this DSP is going to sell out. Um, so if you're going to be part of the stamp camp, make sure that you order this on day one, because this paper is going to sell out. It is too pretty. Look at this one with the lights and the darks with the white. Oh, my God. Yes, the flight and airy is so pretty, Mom. I love that one, too. I think they did. This is literally so beautiful. I hope they show us. You know how sometimes they show us what they did? I hope they show us with this paper. This is gorgeous. Absolutely. Wow. I'm so impressed with this paper, guys. All right. Who thinks I'm going to be able to get this back into the thing? Not me. <laughs> I will. I'm only joking. <laughs> Thanks for bringing me some smiles and laughter. I needed it in my life. I have been so sad, literally so sad. I haven't really smiled or laughed in a long time. Okay, let's look at the eyelet paper. It's called Country Lace. All right, I'm going to pull this one out too because I think you need to see it in full. So this is like a gray eyelet lace. It's really, really pretty. I love that it's so neutral. And the back is like a beige, but it has lines and it has like little dots. When I bring it close, you lose the beige, but you can see the detail. Hi, Ida. Thanks for joining Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, guys, if you are watching. I appreciate that so much if you hit the like button. It definitely helps the algorithm. And if you share my video, it also helps the algorithm. So I would appreciate any help in that area. Okay, so that's that one. Oh, my gosh. This is so pretty, too. Oh, I love that. It's like misty moonlight. Let's see the back. So pretty. Now it looks like peach, but when I bring it up, see how you lose the peach because it blocks the light, but it's actually this color peach. It's, it's actually hard to see in here, but it's a brighter, peach i'm trying to catch some of the light from the side i don't know how to get the light on here there you can kind of see it in the corner i'm trying there we go like this is the real color right here all right let's do the next one this is like soft sea foam I know you can't really tell the color, but it looks like soft sea foam. And I'm going to bring it up for the detail, and then I'll bring it down and try and get the color to show again. This paper is hard to show on camera. Let's see. It's like, it's hard to see the color because it's like a light green soft sea foam color. I'm trying to bring it to the left here. Seem to get more true color. Let me get a flashlight. John, are you listening or have you left? You're pro he probably left because he's like, I really don't care what she bought. All right, let's see if that's better. I think it's worse. <laughs> I thought that maybe it would be better, but I think the flashlight makes it worse. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Anyway, it's a soft sea foam. 
Then you have a gray denim. And it really does look like denim. Bring me your big flashlight, John. Shine that and see if it will show better. Oh no, it's worse. No good. Thank you for trying. We tried. The flashlight doesn't help. <laughs> You're just going to have to buy this pack and trust me, it's pretty. So we have the Misty Moonlight. This one shows pretty good. The lighter ones are harder to see on camera. Just like white, it's hard to see on camera. And then this is like a sea foam kind of denim. You can you can see it some sometimes. Let's see if I can get it to show again. I don't know. I'm going to leave it down here. But it is a denim also. And then you have this one, which is very pale. It has white with a little bit of beige in it. And it has this pattern. That's the pattern that it has. And it's white with a little bit of sea foam or beige tone to it. And the back is a gray. I think they're all the same. All the Johns, Ida. They're all the same. <laughs> now, my guy is a good guy. He will help me. But he is not interested in... Um, he's fine that I bought it all, but he's like, okay, I've seen enough. I'm, I'm moving on. Show he likes when I create projects, but not when I'm just showing the product. It's not for him. So then this is the last page, and it is a petal pink, and it is really pretty. I know it doesn't show true to color, but it is petal pink. And then the back is denim. And it actually does have the texture of denim. It looks gray when I bring it up to the camera, but it is not, it is blue. Bye Roxanne, thanks for being here. All right, and I just have one more bundle to show you, and it was the stamp set that I got for After Hours. So let me put the paper back first. I'll take the ribbon and the pearls, and then I will come back with the other set. All right. Here's the last thing. So this is called Spotlight on Nature and it was something that we were able to purchase um, for after hours. Which was a time we got to stamp, we got to do extra projects. All right, so we have this beautiful leaf this floral, I love the butterfly, the crosshatch. Dear friend, thanks. And a very, very thin splatter. Let me show you the dies. Yeah. This is amazing. These circles. So you have four with the lines. I'm gonna bring the camera down so you could see and then I'll bring it back up. Sorry, I got crooked there when I brought it down. I don't know if you can see it that good, but they're lines. And then you have those four sizes. 
And this one measures, let me grab a ruler. Like almost four inches, just shy, three and seven eighths. Two and three quarters. Like two and an eighth. And one and an eighth. So those are the ones with the lines. Let me put them back and I'll bring the next ones out. I don't know why they um, mixed and matched them, but that's okay. I'm fine with it. So let's go with the next big one. So this one and this one, this one and this one. So then you have these four. and three and three quarters three and a quarter two and a quarter and about one and five eighths um really really cool right and then there's one more design I'll pull it out for you. Let me get this one. It'll be easier with that one out. Okay. I can't wait to get these out on magnets. I already hate them. <laughs> They're already falling off of the, this. That's why I use magnet sheets. I can't deal with this. Okay. And then here's the last four. So you have three different styles. And these are like dots and dashes. And the biggest one is three and a quarter, two and three quarters. This one looks about one and five eighths. And about one and an eighth. And that is those dies. Pretty awesome. Aren't they cool? So obviously there's no dies in this set that cuts out the images. You'll have to fussy cut them. So if you don't love the images of the stamp set, which I mean, I happen to like the, like the images, but if it's not really like your thing, then you could just get this. But I mean, I think it's worth it for this very fine splatter, this cross hatch. The butterfly is gorgeous. Here's a card. There's the cross hatch back there. The butterfly, the greenery. It's a really beautiful stamp set. I do love it. I think it's pretty awesome. And here's a card with the floral. These are cards that we did um, at the special event that we had at the After Dark event. Here's another card watercolored it's a beautiful stamp set and see right here this back here behind the words that's with the cross hatch and it looks like a piece of pattern paper it's pretty awesome it's this little cross hatch on the ends 
So this is a really great set. Um, I'm very happy with it. All right, guys, this was a long one. Normally not this long, right? But I had a lot to show you. I'm going to try and bring the camera back to where it should be. Okay, I think that's good. And... All right. Let's put this away. We'll bring our catalog back in. Oh, there's one more thing. I totally forgot. It was underneath my catalog. So we have this embossing folder that is humongous. <laughs> Wait until you see this embossing folder. Let me open this. There. It fits an eight and a half by five and a half inch piece of cardstock. How cool is this? It's called dotted circles. And the really cool thing about this embossing folder is that you can use the spotlight on nature to cut out a circle and they fit like within the, re the realm of these circles. So you can coordinate them together and have an embossed area with an outline. So you can, it, it's not made to go together, but it does fit together kind of nice. So this, how cool is it that we have this really awesomely large embossing folder? I think it's pretty cool. So that is now the last thing I have to show you. Now I finally showed you everything. Sorry guys, I forgot. I totally spaced because this was under the catalog. And uh, yeah, I forgot about it. But I'm in love with it. It's super awesome and I love that it's so big. All right, guys, so if I will be doing an in color club, I will be announcing that shortly. I have to put together pricing for it and what I wanna include and how I wanna do it. So um, give me a little time to get that pulled together and then I will announce it. I will be taking pre-order for that because I'm gonna order it on day one. I don't want you guys to run out of anything and it'll be a five month commitment so that you can get all five projects. Um, I'm not five projects, five color in the color family. I think it's pretty cool. And I guess that's it. Does anybody have any questions for me before we um, pull the plug? I know this was a long video, but I appreciate you guys standing, hanging in there with me for it. I guess nobody has any comments. Nobody's talking. Everybody has finally said this is long enough of products. <laughs> All right, guys, I guess I'm going to let you go. I will talk with you soon. Thanks for being here with me. I appreciate you so much. And I will talk with you later. Thanks for hitting the thumbs up. Um, and I will see you next time. I know, John, right? You're the. How ironic is it that you're the one here with me? Oh, Sherry showed up. <laughs> I know it was a long one. Thanks for being here, guys. This is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. Thank you, Ida. Happy stamping.